Hey, what's going on, everybody? I uh, just wanted to, as always, say thank you for everybody that's been supporting me along this uh, fight journey. It's been a very interesting one uh, between my two fights and uh, this one for Bellator. Well, between the XFE championship fight and then my fight for Bellator. Well, won a championship fight uh, a while back and then I uh, went to go visit with my brother Tud and I uh, rode his motorcycle, crashed his motorcycle, messed up my knee pretty bad, scraped up my elbow. Uh, pretty much nobody knew about it except for a few of my um, training partners. That was about it. So I was out for two weeks with that. Then uh, after I started getting back to training, knee brace on and everything, trying to heal up, I, at work, a day job, um, went on strike. So I was mentally messed up from that. Couldn't get focused with training, was out of work. I couldn't get to practice. So whole bunch of nonsense and all of that uh, the Verizon strike stuff uh, it was over then got back to got back to work got back into training then boom look, look at it a week a uh, week and a half away from uh, my Bellator fight so I, I go into heavy conditioning mode and trying to get back focus wasn't working missing practice a whole bunch of stuff but how could I um, pass up an opportunity like this it, it's just not gonna um it's not gonna happen I'm not gonna allow something like that to happen so then uh, try to relax and get focused and uh, get down there for the Bellator fight, try to get in the zone, step in the cage, and boom, just completely exhausted. Like, don't know how, rested uh, that in, uh, that day and the day before with the weigh-ins, I don't know what it was, just a complete energy loss. So in there, banging out for a little bit. Uh, I felt as though that I won the first round uh, pretty convincingly, but I, uh, then in the second round, trying to control control that and get into a rhythm, couldn't uh, couldn't get moving, couldn't get motivated and, and everything, and was pretty much uh, becoming a counter puncher instead of being an aggressor because I had no energy to uh, uh, to move anywhere. Usually I'm going from side to side. That was not happening. So then uh, I got rocked. I, well, I'm not even rocked. I just got got punched. And then uh, just just trying to battle back and uh, and just go in and bang out in the middle of the cage. Uh, then I felt like I started to slip, or maybe I was just out of it. I I went down, then I went for a takedown. I went and grabbed for his ankles and tried to drive through for a takedown. Then ended up on my back. I was um, bringing elbows up to his face and. Uh, then uh, I turned over to stand up, and then Donnie, the referee, stops. He's like, "The hell are you doing? I'm standing up." Was if I was like flat out, like uh, not moving or anything, I'm I'm moving and defending myself at the same time. But then I get uh, the fight gets stopped. So I can't really um, blame anybody but myself on that. It's like I the the only way that uh, you don't let somebody uh, control the fight is when you control the fight. Like, if I would have finished them in the first round, wouldn't even be worrying about any any stuff like this. Wouldn't have to uh, think about how uh, things would have been changed, how um, what would have been the next step. Now it's another thing of, like, trying to battle back and show what it is that I have uh, and the abilities that I have to um, uh, to um, fight. So I'm not really mad at anybody except for myself. I just know what I have to do and uh, uh, how I have to perform in my next fight, uh, what type of shape I have to be in. I got to make sure that I'm definitely healthy. I got to drop weight. I went up like uh, a couple of fights ago, I was weighing in at like 230. Now I'm back up to 253, which is ridiculous. But uh, with the 
training or the lack thereof in my condition and I really couldn't um, I, um my weight I was just packing back on so now aiming for 230 you know try and hit that and then get another fight signed and go put in some work so that's pretty much it uh, for me now well you see where I am but I had to get my um, van serviced and now they're giving me a loaner van so I guess I got to get to work on a day job, and that's about it. Y'all have a good day.